In this video, I will show you the process of building a huge custom LED sign that is not only awesome to look at with its different light up modes, but can also illuminate the whole room with its warm white light. Let's get started. First off, we put together two jack stands, which were mandatory to work with the woods in a comfortable height. Then we brought in the bigger MDF board with measurements of 90 by 250cm and a depth of around 60mm. And at this point, we already created our custom laddering, which is the favorite city of my assistant. But feel free to change the ladders, as long as they have a height of half a meter and everything is symmetrical, it should come out fantastic. Now for the marking process of this board, we started with the back side by firstly creating a square with a distance of 15cm from the edge. And since drawing straight lines over such a distance can be challenging, we recommend using a laser. I can guarantee that it works like a charm every time. Then we flip the board around to the front side and drew another but a bit smaller square onto this side as well. It will act as a guide to draw 7 27cm wide boxes for the ladders which have a gap of 2.5cm to each other. If you're confused by now or just want more information then you can download our design sketch with measurements from Instructables. Link is in the description. Once the boxes were drawn, we created the outline of each individual ladder inside of them and moved on to the next MDF board. This one only has a width of 1.5 meter and was overall easier to make. The back side once again received a square with a distance of 15 cm from the edge and the front only got an outline for two small slits which will later act as a backlight for the owl in between them. Next we use spruce wood with these measurements and a jigsaw to create four wood pieces for the bigger square. These got secured firmly with the help of around 5 wood screws per lap and as always make sure that your screws do not overshoot the board's depth. Afterwards we flip the sign around and drill 10mm holes in each outer corner of the ladders. This way we have a starting point for the jigsaw and can also easily change the cutting direction with it. If you want to build something similar I can tell you that this is the most frustrating part just because it felt like an eternity to cut out all the different ladders. But once this madness was complete, we ran over the edges with sandpaper to round them a bit. Then we drew two lines on the front sides in the middle of the long wood pieces of the back sides and marked five evenly spaced spots onto it. This is where these long screws will fit through later and secure everything to the wall. So obviously we had to pre-tool 6.5mm holes and enlarge the top section a bit in order to let the screw head sit flush with the wood. Moving on to the wallpaper, we laid out the first strip and cut it to size. But the rest of the strips were not that easy to make though, because the pattern of the wallpaper only repeats every 26.5cm and finding that exact pattern was not that easy. To bound the two materials, we used a decent amount of spray adhesive which we applied to the MDF and afterwards slowly lowered the wallpaper onto it. In order to finish the front side of the big MDF board, we secured the overhang of the paper onto the back side with the adhesive and a lot of staples. We then repeated the exact same steps for the smaller boards, but as a summary for you, it was wood square on the back side cutting out the design on the front side, drilling holes for the big screws and finally applying the wallpaper. One day later the glue was dry and we continued by gluing small wallpaper strips into the edges of the ladders. This way when we cut the wallpaper in this artistic way and glue the overhangs to the back sides, the complete surface of the ladders inside will be covered in wallpaper. Next, we laid down the milky white 2mm thick acrylic pieces and determined where to cut them so that the intersection lines are not visible later on. And with the help of the jigsaw, we cut the pieces to size, peeled off the protective film and secured them to the boards with a lot of small wood screws. 
Just make sure that you do not apply too much pressure onto the glass. It can break quite easily. For the inner lighting we used 5 meter of pretty common RGB LED strip which we just glued onto the inside of the longer wood laths and connected the ends with a bit of wire. After peeling off the rest of the protective film, we then continued this lighting madness by gluing warm white LED strips outside the wooden square and also connected them with wire. To mount the board on the wall, we also needed to cut small rectangles into the wallpaper to set the pre drilled holes free and finalize this board by applying foam tape onto the back. The second board is pretty much the same, just with smaller acrylic pieces and additionally the power supplies for the LEDs. This required me to drill two big holes into the wood square to fit my wires through and I also needed to mount the power supplies with mounting clamps and connected the live and neutral wires together with terminals. And don't forget to add an AC power plug to the mix, otherwise nothing will light up. For the last step we drilled holes in the wall, inserted the plastic anchors and secured both boards very firmly with these big ass screws. And by using a slightly smaller screw to secure the owl in its place, this project was complete. I hope you liked it and maybe it inspires you to build something similar. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe, that would be awesome. Please consider supporting me through my Patreon campaign to keep such videos coming just one dollar can really make a difference. Stay creative and I will see you next time.